Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Again, joined by Chris, uh, mm -hmm. YouTube channel Real Ale 140. Check him out. Um, RCH Brewery, and it's their firebox. Now, this one was brought to me by Mark Elvis Appleford or Somerset Real Ale Reviews. If check wanna, out his channel. Yeah, check out his channel on YouTube. Um, he's got a. He generally he's move, he's moving on now from um, just Somerset beer, isn't he? He's doing beers from yeah. more or less all over the place. But he started off doing beers around the Somerset area. And this is one. This is from Western Super Mary. Burnham on Sea. Burnham on Sea. Just down the road from us. So just over the water from us. Exactly. Yeah. If you look straight across from Barry, across the Bristol Channel, you get Western and Burnham. Oh, this is pouring out like. Oh, it's like Luke said. Yeah. There you go. A bit more. It's poor condition, so. Yeah, there's plenty of sediment in this one, as, as I understand. Is there? Mmm. Right. Yeah, and Elvis has been getting reviews up left, right, and centre, so it's worth checking out his channel to see what he's doing, because yeah. he's going to start expanding into more and more, I think. And he's down to visit soon? I think he's, he might be coming Friday. Might be coming this Friday, which would be cool. We'll organise a little bit of a shindig, yeah. a bit of a bit of a drinky poo. Right? A little bit. Of <laughs> so what are we getting with this beer from Mark from RCH Brew? This is their firebox. Six percent ABV. This one. Golden amber. Yeah, amber definitely. Uh, no real head. Quite lazy fizz. You know, just escaping from the side of the glass. Small bubbles. Yeah. In the main. Not much at all. It's a very settled beer. Mm. There's bits of sediment floating around. I was there. there was a warning on the bottom about the sediment, but um, yeah. I, I'm not catching anything. I mean, I've had far, far, far worse. Than oh, yeah, that. yeah. Um, yeah, lum lumps and bumps. What are we getting from the news? Should we have a look? Mm. Mm, burnt malt, biscuits. It's slightly sweet, yeah, biscuits. Must, a bit of mustiness or something going on there. That's just my, it might be my glass, it might be that the glass has mm, carried a bit of dust in the cupboard above me. Do you want to what kind of biscuit that is? Do you know what I think it is? What's that? It's a rich tea. Yeah, yeah. That's a rich tea biscuit, right yeah. in there. Could be on my nose. Ooh. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, biscuit, rich tea. Should we, should we have a taste? Yeah. Should we see what we get? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Now I must admit at this stage, I've just reviewed an Imperial Stout, it was quite yeah. flavourful and I probably could have given my palate 20 minutes, maybe 15-20 minutes. Yeah, we did try and dash down some horseradish things just to yeah. remove that from the palate. But the reason why we have banged these reviews back to back is we only have a small amount of time where the children will be quiet, so we've kind of got our hands tied really, mm. so um, I suppose... I'm, We'll just carry on drinking and the palate will come back, I'm sure. I'm picking up some orange off this orange peel. I don't know if you are. I think the beer could do with a little bit of... I, I think it could do with a little bit more carbonation. Yeah. And it could really do with something... You almost want this beer to fizz on your tongue. Mm. You're asking it to... And it's, yeah, please do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for, for what little life is in there, it's... It, it, it's not really shifting that flavour around your mouth, is it? For me, it's almost like this is no disrespect to the brewery because there are some lovely flavours in this beer. Mm. It's like you've bought a, 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 a bottle, brought it home, poured it out, and if you've got kids or if something's distracted your mind, you've left the beer for 20 minutes on the side, mm. you've come back to the beer. And it's all gone. And all, yeah, all the carbonation, all the fizz, all the life has gone from it. And it's not chilled anymore. And it, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And it's it's kind of giving me that impression. But um, flavour-wise, what are you pulling from this, Chris? I'm getting orange. 
massively on that and it's quite a sticky aftertaste on this. I think it's bitter, there's a bit of bitter that stays at the back of your mouth. Yeah. Orange and, and maybe an apple? Slight taste mm. of apple in there. Look at that. Yeah. I'm picking up off the nose actually now you mention it. Yeah, it's like brambly, what were they calling them? Them bramble, bram, uh, something bramble apples or something. Yeah, those ones. Bra yeah, bramble, them, them cooking apple type. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, cooking apples? Yeah. They're not... Uh, this is the other thing, the, the, the beer we just had was quite exotic. This is a warning out there, I suppose, really. Yeah. If you, if you plan on taking this up, if you've got the time to do this, then, then take your time in between your styles of beer. Yeah. Because yeah. I think we may have committed a cardinal sin here. <laughs> we didn't know what the previous beer was going to be like because we'd never had it before. No. Um, no. It turned out it was bloody fantastic, but it was from, yeah. from Sri Lanka. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to get, you don't know what it's going to hit. Um, yeah. This, I'm sure, would be perfectly acceptable in if I was in about them, to bring them on sea and grab a pub on the seafront there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, this would be quite nice. It's quite rich, it's quite malty in the... It's quite... Sweet up front. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the, the bitterness drags right at the end. I like it. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I like the beer. I like the beer a lot. Um, I just think it could benefit from... I'm just washing the beer out now. Yeah, it's not much life to Can it. Can you see that? I'm washing the beer out and I'm trying to get some kind of head going. And there's just nothing at all. And well, what's the ABV on this one? It's six. It's a six no, percent ABV. That's the trouble for me. I think if you're going to go to that higher ABV, you don't want to destroy all the aroma or the character. Yeah, the, yeah. It's kind of, and that's a rigorous. I'm really giving it a rigorous wash around in the glass, and I'm just not creating any head at all. No, say no, really. It's flat as a pancake, isn't it? I'm getting started to speak and the rest of it flatter. You know? Yeah, yeah, probably probably doing a yeah. What you've got here is a characteristic of a session now, where it's nice and flat and more good and lovely and certain at the bottom of your stomach and not really bother you, with a whacking great ABV. Yeah. Um, has some lovely flavours, but I don't like the, that particular combination. That, that, yeah. Those three things together don't quite marry up for me. I tell you. Um, what I am finding is that I'm not picking up anything that su suggesting to me that it's six percent. No, it's not. We could be quite dangerous in that sense. It's, yeah, it could be <laughs> dangerous. You really could, especially with it being so uncarbonated. Six percent, you really could knock this back really quickly. Oh, this is a soft drink. Yeah, yeah, re really could. Uh, I've had I've had three beers now from this brewery. Um, for me, if I'm perfectly honest, it's been a little bit up and down. I did the Ale Mary, which was the total opposite to this. I really struggled. I had that much beer in the bottom and a pint full of froth. Yeah. The Old Slug Porter, oh, and I, I didn't really like the flavours in the Ale Mary. It was one of them kind of like coriander and all them different exotic flavours, which for me should stay in a curry. Then I had the Old Slug Porter with Chris's wife, mm. which was absolutely phenomenal. It was a fantastic beer. And then we kind of come down a step in between the two, Ale Mary and the, the Old Porter, which, I mean, it's not. I'm not saying this is a bad beer. No. <sighs> it's just not great. Yeah. Had a lot better. Yeah. But that's not to say that it's not something, if you're in the West Country and you get your hands on this, you yeah. Know, I'm not going to say don't drink it. You know, I, I would say give it a whirl. You know, it might be your cup yeah. of tea. Absolutely. Okay, so um, after sipping on it for fifth, oh, I don't know, seven or eight minutes, nine minutes, what, what, what would you give it as a rating, Chris? We've been, I think we've been very fair. We've not been yeah. too critical, we've just been very fair. What would you give it? It's, it's got those characteristics as well. Kind of. If you ever pick them up in, in, in the shop, they do these ginger biscuits it's just with orange peel in them uh, from Sweden. Yeah. And this to me is like a liquid version of that. It's nice, but I wouldn't go and buy them every time I went there. 
Um, yeah. For a bit of a change. Yeah, worth it. And, and I, I, I'm happy to give it a seven and a half, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, it's got that little hint of, yeah, it's got a little bit of ginger mm. taste in there. Um, for me, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a seven. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. Nothing wrong with it. Seven, it's, seven's a perfectly respectable rating. Yeah, yeah, perfectly acceptable rating. I think it's, a, you know, it's a decent beer, perhaps. But then saying that, I'll probably clean my palate anyway. Yeah. Even though I have cleaned my palate, it's still giving me the same. I, I'm, I'm, re I'm relaxed about those scores. Yeah. I, I think they're the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Could do with a little bit more carbonation. I think it would give the beer another level completely. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching myself on Real Ale 140. Um, we'll be doing reviews in the future, I'm sure. Thanks for watching and cheers.